and getting the rhythm back. In the in swinger, beats a lunging Rutraj guy court. Wide again, just missing that left pad of Rutraj guy court. Good effort. Deep square. And it goes straight past what would have been a first slip. The second boundary of the innings. 14 without loss. And now we have a slip. Oh, everybody missed it. Everyone missed it. Late to move there, Matthew Wade. To be called five wides. What about Jason Barrandoff? Hey, does you spoke about how good he was? Uh, with Raj Kai, what slip in place for him? He looked a little tentative this evening. <laughs> Nicely played, but got a field in the deep. It'll only be a single. Barrandoff to bowl his third. Oh, beautifully bowled. Yeah, good captaincy. A third over. Nicely timed, that's where his strengths are. Down the ground with the Raj Gai quad. It was a really good shot, a lot of timing. It wasn't last ball off the power play. Oh, misses it again. Return crease, then the stumps. It's a big ground as well. Surat Raj on strike now. Pulls it to mid on for a single. But yeah, that's a better line to go to Sui. Outside off stump. Let him reach for it. What innings that was. Yeah, 12 from that over. Fielding is not going to be easy, is it? Close to you. Oh. You get giddy, you get greedy. As a spinner, when you know that you've got a bit of turn, you've got a few variations, you end up trying. Oh, that's close to. Lovely placement all along the ground. Just had to beat covers to his left, and that's exactly what he did. Yeah, and that's a great example of what Matthew Hayden was talking about. Just hasn't quite got that control of not only his length, but also his line here. Pays the price. Guy Quad's a beautiful player of spin. Shimmies down, opens up that cover region. Just too full and a little bit too much width for a class player of spin. Should get a couple. Surya has to run to the danger end. And the 50 partnership. Position that you can play differently. Yeah, and the thing that I love about this partnership is that as skipper he's gone out there with that intent to take the pressure off his partner and just nudging it and they come back for the second is it slow enough no yeah there's still time for partnership batting in T20 cricket had India have come out and lost uh, another wicket this wide one throws his hands at it I think what Matthew Wade did. Didn't quite get it right. That's in the gap. Should get a couple. That was exact. Acute awareness of what a bowler is going to do, and I don't think they've probably got enough intel on Hardy. Played into the gap, and this time he'll get a boundary. Eight runs coming off that over to go with the wicket of Surya. Was hit for a four would have been two different lengths. Completely two different length. Slower one. But if you don't get your length right, you're you're asking for trouble. Oh, this time it's the right hander with the Raj Gaikwad. Beating both the points and hundred up. Could be a little rusty as well, Kane Richardson. He's been sitting on the benches, just came for uh, the series. 
particular, Berendorf was getting the ball to really talk. Pulls it and pulls it in the gap. Enough time for Rituraj Gaipo to rock on the back foot and find the gap for himself. He may not be fluent uh, like you have seen him in the past, but today he's uh, waited for the loose deliveries and put them away. And that's exactly what he's done on the vacation too. It is begging to be hit. Half cracker, and he made full use of it. Yeah, and this is what Sango has been doing this evening. It's been regular occasion that you get batsmen in their home conditions. They see anything like that and they start yelling Christmas. It's beautifully played. Enough time to go over extra cover. That's 12 from the over. 1-1-3 one, one, three for 3 after 13. But as of now, they've been gifted a, a couple of uh, boundary deliveries almost every over. That's good running, good cricket. Play with soft hands in the gap for a couple of runs. And Rituraj Gaikwad again, after a slowish start and a watchful start, he's picked it up. He's really well on the offside and uh, down the ground. Doesn't miss out on opportunities when he uh, gets uh, short deliveries and uh, Rick as well. And, uh, what is good about him is that he's very decisive against the spinners as well as the fast bowlers too. And this partnership is uh, really flourishing now. 35 of 19. So these two won't be worried about what is going to be thrown at them. That's beautifully timed. Magnificent people's across the crease. Now that is right in the bowler's mind. So he tries to get wide outside off stump. But his hands are so good. And at the moment, 100% agree, VW. He's now striking at 151. He knew his place and role early up. Get the more dominant batsman on strike. Now he's taking over. Once again, he's shown how good he is uh, facing his innings. That's a key component for a batter. Chan Kishan and Yashas Vijay Svali, a role's different. He should be another wide. The pressure telling on the young man. But again, as soon as... So his basic disciplines. That's a cracking shot. Races to the boundary. And his fourth. T20 I 50 for Rituraj Gaikwad. Back to back half centuries for the young man. When an inexperienced bowler is under pressure, this is what happens. And when he's bowling with a 5 4 field, he's rather confused as to what lines he's got to bowl. And that's exactly what is happening here. He's been bowling on both sides of the wicket and he's uh, leaking runs. He's young Hardy. Yeah, the length was there again. We mentioned Sanger, just there was free hits. That's a free hit. Thing you don't get away with on s these slow wickets these clay wickets not a lot of grass not skipping through a much better length especially if you're bowling pace off it's not one of those pitches where you pitch it kind of short with a pace off because it's going to skid through any which way it sits up nicely to be hit another very good innings from Rituraj Raj but a different kind of uh, an innings as compared to the last one Appreciated by his teammates, his captain, and rightly so. He was having a strike rate of around 100 when he was in the 20s. Now he's uh, up to 257. That's terrific progress, and uh, he knows when to accelerate really well. Definitely has shifted gears. Sangha. I wouldn't find the gap with Raj. Yeah, again, I think the dimension of this ground and because of that he's gone a bit on the shorter side goes fuller he swept it has it has he swept it fine enough yes he has that's another boundary once again straying onto the pass that's because he's bowling quicker through there which is not giving the opportunity to give in revolutions there and that's the reason why Greg Paul is able to pull it away easily. There's much more front of the hand. He's actually, one thing, whilst he hasn't been really performing this evening, one thing that has done well is the ball's come out of the hand nicely. That's good revolutions towards a first slip. Down the ground, across, and the maximum. Oh, look out.
Look out. Guycott is on a roll. Playing all the infield. Of course, he's playing with the turn. And the confidence with which he's hit and the back speed was absolutely fabulous. Shot of the day for me. His highest score in T20Is now, Ritharaj Gaikwad. What a shot. One of the toughest in the game going inside out. Different, different situation and a different Ritharaj Gaikwad. Nathan Ellis start off, starts off with a slow one. Well, he's been on song again. Started steady away. Another beautiful shot to get off the mark. Down the ground. Classical pull shots. I and mean, obviously anything that's wide, he loves to pounce on that. He's been really severe. And Yang Sanga is just learning his craft at this level. And he's fell into the trap of going a little full and a little wide. That's as up. Uh... 360 as you can get for an orthodox batter like Rituraj. I was just making the point about through. It's a good over. With five runs from it. 148 for three after 16. And the best bowler on view so far, Jason Berndorf with his last. Yeah, he's not got any timing on it and that allows him the second and I think we'll see another slower one it's already in this set quicker one this time they also had the option of Stein is a ball beautifully it's been an excellent over so far just six of it and finishes it off in style. Yorker wanted the second. Maxwell is quick. So an excellent spell comes to an end from Berendorf. One for 12 or four. It's 155 for three. And this is the time where Matthew Wade makes a decision. And he's gone for Hardy to bowl the 18th over. Shot third. Shot fine. But a man at... A very fine square leg, deep square leg, deep mid wicket, and a long on on the onside. And he goes straight, pays on, and it pays the price. Beautifully timed. That's his strength down the ground. Even the last game, the feature of his batting was all those shots downtown. It's been called a wide and it's been reviewed. <laughs> well, that's what I thought. I thought it's only done in the eye here. Short and that's been pumped over mid-wicket. Matthew Wade is still in a bit of a IPL hangover there. Or full first up, pace off. This time he goes into the track, pace off. Great timing from Guy Quad. Just hammers that over deep mid wicket. Gets into such a powerful position with that back foot. Where does he go now, Aaron Hardy? I'm just wondering after that really good last over, would he have gone to up someone else? Maybe Ellis or Richardson. Go straight again. And there's no chance for Tim David at long on. Under enormous pressure here, Aaron Hardy. Six wide, six four. Lots of flailing of hands. He doesn't know which field to keep and what to bowl right now. Yeah, and it's a tough ask for the young man because Guy Quad is well set. He's reaped the rewards of that partnership with Sky early on. He laid the foundation and now... He's expanding his game. Hardy's gone the defensive option with the Yorker, but he's missed. And Guyquad's been able to... And the field here is changing as we see. Square leg coming up, so he's going to have to go wide. I did read that. 
Uh, Rituraj Gaikwad knew exactly what Hari was planning to do. But this over, India needed a big one. They got it so far, 17 already, 6 wide, 6. And then the boundary. 15 in the previous over that he bowled. Oh, walks even further in and puts it over long leg for a 6. A well deserved 100. 49 balls at the moment. He was all over Hardy's plan, trying to take him wide. Shuffled across his crease, got into position beautifully, and just swept it over that deep square leg boundary for six. Going to be brave enough and ball straight. He swept him again. Great effort in the deep. Josh Inglis does the tidying up. 25 runs of the over. And has he done it beautifully? Yeah, it's perfect tempo batting. And that's what the batsmen, when they have the chains cricketing shots. He did uh, innovate in the last over. Yeah, four sixes from Rukhraj's bat. That's got to be the shot of the day, at least for me. That too. Everything, most of them with the full face of the bat. That one was manufactured, dragged it from the outside off stump. Slow bouncer. 96 of 51. And he's waiting for his strike here. Yeah. Not that it should matter because you're thinking about getting as many runs as possible for India at this moment. Tilak Varma, 22 of 20. Just being the senior partner, having a quick word with him. It's a difficult thing for Tilak, isn't it? What you do now? Do you take a single and get Rituraj on strike or you just try and keep hitting? Gets it over the keeper's head. Uh, doesn't have enough legs there. Imagine had this been a, an IPL game and CSK was featuring and Tilak Varma would have been playing. They would have been clamoring for MS Dhoni. Is anybody going to ask for Rinku Singh now? I to manufacture one there. Almost uh, got a boundary of it. Yeah, sometimes in a partnership like this, there are days when you can't get going. Found the gap. He has found the gap finally. Just the right place for him to play that shot. He found the gap to perfection. And I dare say with one ball left in this set of Nathan Ellis, Black Barber will be looking for another one of these so that Guy Court has strike in the last set. The swivel pulls that. Placed it beautifully in front of square leg. Once again, that length of that slower one. So key. And if it's slightly short, all these batters have enough time to put it away. Should be called a boundary. And runs. Ten runs, one delivery left. Goes over the offside. Doesn't find the fielder. Slightly slow to get, take off the blocks there. So two runs he gets off the last ball. 192 for three. There he is. He will be bowling the 20th over. Which will be his first. Against the right-hander. And what a way to get to your maiden T20 International 100. The first by an Indian against Australia. And take a bow for Rituraj Gaikwad. What a moment for the young man. He got a diamond duck in the first game at Vizag. But he's come back strongly, showed a lot of character. A well made 50 in the second T20 International at Kerala and now 
The first Indian to get 100 against Australia. This time goes slow. A bit of a fade to that shot. A six and a four. Maxwell bowling his first. For well, a third time in a row, India has got 200 plus now. A little surprise with this decision of Matthew Wade. Maxwell to bowl his first and that to the 20th. Oh, it just gets worse for Maxwell. That's a no ball. Free hit. Christmas come early. Here we were wondering where Maxwell was. But not for the 20th over. First no ball of the game. There's the point of contact. The first point of contact. And the free hit. What a way to get the 100. What a way, Deep. And what a 100. Absolutely brilliant. The way he's faced this innings, he's timed it to perfection. He's playing a very different role initially when he was batting with Ashan Kishan, Jaswal, Surya. Once down the gears throughout the innings versus both pace and spin. It's been called a wide. Nobody's happy here. Maxwell and the wicketkeeper Matthew Wade not happy at all. Well, that's fine, but what was Matthew Wade doing? He, he's not standing up to the stumps. He's still not. Slower one, and that's been dumped over long gone. I seriously don't understand this. It's just a free hit for a spinner. The keeper's not standing up to the stumps. Sashes down the ground or down the pitch. It's a different ball. It was more of a leg spin than anything else. Another short one. And this has been parked over long on again. 26 runs of the over so far, with one delivery left. Still trying to figure out what Australia, the skipper with Kane Richardson having one over, thinking. The Aussies want to try and chase down 220 and test themselves, obviously. They didn't want to chase 200. They thought, no, nah, let's test ourselves tonight, give them an extra 20. Swung away and missed it. Great effort there. It was swept. That two will go for a boundary. So